viewers, my name is Demita with Wedding in a Box and today we want to give you a few chair cover hacks and sash hacks. As you see, I've already placed a chair cover on the chair and you see that there's a little bit of excess chair cover at the top and you see where the chair cover does not fit the chair firmly but it bows out um, in, in the mid part of the chair. Uh, one of the things that you can do to prevent this from happening is you can take your chair cover and you can make sure it's pushed all the way down and kind of push it in the middle of the back and then therefore it's form fitting to the chair and it gives you a very clean look very elegant look without it having the extra at the top and being bowed in the middle section um, we have a couple of different sashes that we're going to show you a couple of different things that you can do on your um, chair with your sashes. This is just a regular spandex sash and we have another spandex sash here and as you can see one is a little bit wider than the other one. I'm going to put both of them on and let you see how they look. This is a sash that has a seam in the middle and a seam on the side. You most definitely always want to put your middle seam to the inside of the sash and your side seam when you're putting on your sash you always want to put it to the side and that way it gives you a very clean look and you have a wide backing to the sash here we have another sash that is not as wide which some people prefer wide with sash and some prefer just a smaller band sash because with the smaller band sash you see more of the chair this sash right here is a smaller with, with uh, band sash and it gives you more revealing of the chair and not as much of the sash is taking the chair over. Some of the things I've seen is people will put their seams in the middle or the seams in the back of the chair which is not very clean looking but the sash is on there because that is the end result but you want to own your decor look so therefore you want it as clean and as elegant as possible so therefore I recommend that you put the side sash to the side either side of the chair and the middle sash I mean the inside seam of the sash you want to make sure that it's flipped on the reverse side there has been times where the in the bottom of the band you'll see that they'll put the sash but it still gives you that same look with the seam appearance. So therefore, you want to make sure that you are hiding your seams as much as possible. We have this wide width sash. You can put it on like this, or before you put it on, you can do a little flip. Here's your sash. Flip one side of it and put it on your sash. And now you have a crisscross type sash, which gives your um, chair a different look to the front and to the back. This is the front of the chair with the crisscross look and then you have that same look to the back of the chair. We also have some sequence sashes and they have the same exact thing. Some of them do not have a center seam and some of them do. Here's one that has a center seam and it also has a side seam. I recommend the same thing with the sequence sash as to put your seams on the inside and to the side to hide your side seams as much as possible. Here we have a two-way sash that I talked about in one of my previous videos. This is sequence on one side and a band sash on the other and you can do it just like I just did the yellow one. Here's the sequence. Here's the band, but we can put it on the chair and we can do the same flip look, but what it does is it gives you a band look on one side of the band and it gives you a sequence look on the other side of the band. It's just to the designer's preference based on what the client wants. It's almost like two looks in one. So we also have this yellow sash, but we're going to put 
this silver sash on top of it because you're trying to do two looks in one. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to put this on the chair. <coughs> Excuse me. So now you have your band sash and you're like, okay, so how do I get that flip-flop look? Because it looks like it can be difficult. But if you hold your band here and you take your chair cover and hold it here, hold it here in the front, and you put your hand right here without having to take the band off, you can flip it all in the same. And then you can have the two sash look. You have the yellow on top and the silver here, and it's both in the front and in the back of the chair. I'm gonna do that one more time because that looks a little difficult. So we have the band sash here and the sequin sash. And I just put my hand in the middle like this. I bring it up. I know it's gonna adjust the um, chair cover, but I take and put my hand here and I put my thumb here and I take it and I pull it up like this with holding the remainder of the sash and I flip it down like this. And I make the chair cover adjustments as needed. And so now we're able to use two sashes with one. And that gives you two looks with your gold, goldish yellow band sash and your silver sequin sash. These are just a couple of chair cover hacks. And just keep it in mind, no matter what you do, you got to own your decor. You got to um, sometimes go back to the basics and do things basic ways so that you can get a much cleaner and nicer design. But this is a look that I see a lot, a lot of um, designers are doing that um, the client want. They want that two layer look. And so that's an easier little hack by holding your hand and flipping it while it's on the chair because it keeps you from having to do this, taking it off the chair and then doing it like this and trying to get it right and then, you know, it's a little bit harder this way than it is by already putting it on the chair, layering it, and putting it together. Um, these are just a few chair cover hacks and sash hacks and a little information about sashes when it comes to the um, seams and the side seams to kind of keep um, your decor looking really clean and pristine. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to inbox me. Um, please, please follow us. Um, on um, YouTube, follow our channel. We're trying to post videos at least once a week. Um, got a little behind, but we're back on the grind now. So follow us on YouTube at WeddingInTheBox.com. Thank you and have a wonderful 4th of July.